So why do you write? Why do I write? Oh, you're asking the big questions. Um, I write because um, I think otherwise I would go crazy um, or crazier than I already am. Um, it's a good crazy though, right? Yeah, it's a good crazy, mostly. I mean, writing is a beautiful and also masochistic sport that like the right, like I love writing, but it's, it's, the, the, let's talk about the good stuff. The, the create, I mean, I write because I got something to say. I write because there are things that uh, I want to see that are different in the world. There's things, there's characters, there's people that I know and love whose stories deserve to be told, whose aren't told in the mainstream media or Hollywood or just even the local press is like, whose story is told? How is it told? Who are the heroes and sheroes? Who are the villains? Like, I just don't feel, I just, I want to complicate the narrative. I want to show a different perspective. And I also want to have some fun. And so for me, writing is the way to be both as serious or as ridiculous as I am on a given day. And I want to show the breadth of who we are um, as people. And I want to show, um, you know, there's a, the, a quote by one of my, my heroes, Bertolt Brecht, old German socialist, playwright and poet. And he said, art is not a mirror to hold up to society, but a hammer with which to shape it. And so for me, writing, filmmaking, all these things are a way to not just uh, provoke people's ideas, but to show a different idea of what's possible. And in this country where we're so isolated, we're so individualistic, we're so um, divided and put up against each other and where all the struggles of, you know, American uh, government, political corruption, racism, go down the list. Uh, let's use art to show something different and not to ignore the pain, but to name the reality of this. These are the problems that are affecting people's daily lives. But what could it look like if it was something a little different? And so art and writing is about that radical imagination. And have you ever written something, whether it's performance or, or a screenplay, that it bothered someone and they were very angry about it? And how oh, did hell you, yeah. And how does that make you feel? Because now you're... Feels like I'm doing my job. Um, yeah, the, 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 one of the main... Uh, not criteria, one of the main signs of feedback that I'm doing my job right is the level of uh, angry emails that I get. Um, if, if, uh, if I'm not pissing someone off, I'm not doing my job as a writer. If I'm not making you, if I'm not challenging you, um, if I'm, you know, I want my uh, art to uh, afflict the comfortable and comfort the afflicted. And so if uh, people in power are, uh, you know, tapping me on my back. If I just have yes men, as you said, just like, oh, that's good. Then I could just be making commercials for Coca-Cola, but that's not what I want to be doing. Um, so yeah, there are times I'm, a, I'm a, a Jewish writer who writes about Israel and Palestine sometimes. That can be a little controversial. I'm a, I'm a white guy who talks about race and white privilege. Yeah, that's sometimes people have some feelings about that. I work with a multiracial team of writers in Oakland. Even in the writers' room, we challenge each other. We sometimes we don't we we're not sure if they're saying what they want to say. Am I speaking on behalf of someone else? Are you saying what um, is a real representation, or is that a stereotype? And so the first thing I feel like is in the writers' room is even before the writer's room, am I challenging myself? And so if I'm not challenged, or if I'm not surprised, or if I'm not in a new place by the end of the writing that I was at the start, then I haven't done my own job to myself. And so I feel like that's, yeah.
you gotta gotta end somewhere new. Has anyone ever said, "Can you tone it down?" And what is your response to that? Um, you know that uh, great classic movie, uh, "This Is Spinal Tap." <laughs> Yeah. Turn it to 11. <laughs> no, we turn it up. We don't have time to tone it down. There's too much false politeness. Um, there's too much trying to make everyone. Um, f it's not that I want to stir controversy for the sake of controversy. It's not, I don't, you know, I don't want just to offend you or upset you for the sake of a reaction. The, the idea is, can we look at some new perspectives? The idea is, um, no matter where you stand, we all know there's some things that are, um, you know, uh, wiped between the rug, not wiped, wiped under the rug. There are some things that are not talked about that need to get talked about. And um, if art and film and writing isn't the place, then where is the place to do that?